Hey everyone, how you all doing? Um, welcome to another vlog. Um, so it is Friday. What I don't actually know what day it is. Friday. No idea. Um, let's see, is my phone gonna tell me what date it is? Friday the twentieth. Sorry, Friday the twentieth. Um. And if you have been keeping up to date with the news, um, then you will know that as of today, all restaurants, um, leisure centres, theatres, gyms, everything like that has been closed or been told to close. Um, I am unsure whether I'm at work tomorrow because... Um, on the gov website or the list the government has put out it says spas and massage parlors um whereas we're technically neither of them we still fall into the same category as them um so i may be off work until the foreseeable future but up to now i have no idea so i'm keeping an eye on everything um and just waiting and seeing um but it's amazing how from my last video which was literally i started filming a week ago was i didn't even like i finished filming four days ago it was monday um it's everything has changed so quickly so quickly i mean this time last week um there was no um proven cases in my area that I live in um but now there are like a few coming through I know people that have had to self-isolate um and things like that so obviously it's um things are progressing and quite quickly and it's just a wait and see um I don't know this sounds silly but I'd be quite happy to have a little bit of time off because since we moved in I've not had time to properly organise the house like we unpacked and we put things where we wanted them but you know as you start to use like your kitchen um, your spare bedroom which is the dumping ground at the minute you realise that it's not practical um, and things just need rearranging and shuffling around um but obviously up to now i have no idea no idea if i will be at work um and how long i will be off but the good thing is the government have said that they will um help businesses pay up to 80 percent of people's wages which is amazing um because obviously for a lot of people it was uncertain times that people were thinking are they going to be off work for like two or three months with no pay um so yeah um i just thought i'd start this off because <laughs> this vlog off because i do quite enjoy vlogs I've, i i enjoy chatting to you all um and i know that a lot of people are in the same place um i don't want this all to be about the covid19 um outbreak that's going on um but if there's stuff you want to get off your chest you're quite welcome to do it down in the comments um but over the next like, weekend well whatever happens in the next week um i'm gonna do a good spring clean tidy of the house rearrange some things and i thought i'd film it because i know that that's kind of a video video i enjoy organization and cleaning and things like that um so yeah just like keep you all today if i find out anything else if i know that i'm not at work um good morning everyone so it's saturday morning it is currently 25 past eight so it's nearly work time there's still been no official announcement when it comes to like hair salons beauty nail salons which to me the more i read it um they should be included because obviously we can't work two meters apart um from each other or from the clients none of us have got like extendable hands none of us are the incredibles um <laughs> but up to now 
there has been no official announcement so it's work as usual if I can find my water bottle but the cats have had me up since half past four I am absolutely shattered um so I am gonna make myself a coffee I think to take to work with me so I'll stick the kettle on um yeah this cat decided to wake me up first yes she's eating on the side but the reason she eats on the side is because Luna nicks it and her food makes Luna bloated and then this one that is oh that's run off that was in my dirty laundry uh clean laundry even decided to come running up the stairs and try and get in bed with us three times um even though the door was shut um so yeah this is the pits like the face of a person that's been awake for hours already so shattered <laughs> Um, what have I come in here for? My work water bottle. See, brain's gone to mush this morning. That is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. I think I was still awake as well at about half past twelve this morning. So, four hours sleep. Um, I'm doing, no, as you can tell, <laughs> no makeup apart from I've put a little bit of brow gel and some mascara on. For work as my skin is acting up a little bit um, and I'd rather just put some moisturiser on and I think it's just the stress of work not knowing what's going to happen and whether I should make the decision not to go to work for my health or whether that decision is going to be taken out of my hands anyway. Um, I have a feeling that today is probably going to be my last day working but we will see. Let's make a latte. What shall we have? What shall we have? I think, ooh, I think I'll go with my favourite at the minute, which is the Nescafe Toffee Nut. Oh my god, it tastes amazing. Um, but yeah, so, like I say, Saturday morning, I'm ready for work, and... I'm going to go to work and see what the day brings. So, um, salon's closed. Um, it's half six now, um, so I've had a few hours, obviously, of knowing that. But yeah, salon closed at half past one today. Um, so I am home for the foreseeable future. We'll see how long, obviously, everything goes on. Um, obviously, it's only temporary. We'll all be back to work, hopefully soon. Um, but yeah, I've just sat around at my clients to let them know obviously what's going on. I managed to get hold of the majority of them. The rest I'll try again tomorrow. But um, yeah, um, at first I was kind of like, yeah, it'll be fine. And then I think it's actually sunk in that this could be, like, I'm, I'm keeping optimistic that it's only going to be a few weeks, but this could be for a couple of months because obviously I work in a high contact um, job, salon, um, which I know technically, like I said, hasn't been um, forced to close, but we have all spoke, all stylists and the boss have all spoke and made the decision together. Um, we, it was an easy decision to come to because obviously we wanted to put um, the clients and our own health um, above anything else, but it's hard to let clients down. I mean, a lot of these clients come weekly, fortnightly, um, and yeah, it's hard to let them down. Um, because obviously a lot of the time, sometimes that is what the only time that the older older generation do come out when they come and get their hair done. Um, so 
it was hard in that way but it was easy in the fact that we are protecting all of the clients that come into the salon um but i'm so cold tonight i've got a blanket i'm freezing i think it's because i've been up half past four the cats woke me up this morning so yeah i'm tired my eyes are watery i'm tired um i'm cold so but would it melt by now look at her half past four the mo this morning not so much um <laughs> but i'm just sitting and catching up on some youtube for now uh, i'm probably gonna do tea in a little bit didn't have my lunch till about half one um so probably give it another half an hour and go cook myself something um i took some chicken out so we'll see we'll see what we end up with um but yeah if you're all in like feeling this way don't worry it's it is only temporary i know obviously it can feel like it's you can't see an end at the minute but obviously things will will start to get better um but they are going to get a little bit worse before they get better but for now i'm going to keep myself busy with um rearranging stuff in the house um sorting stuff out in the house and just a regular day 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 law how many times can i say day in a sentence um day-to-day -day stuff so yeah um yeah strange strange feelings today um but like i say i know a lot of people are in the same position so i know exactly how you feel hey so it's sunday uh first day of self-isolation and it's actually 25 past nine at night um this lighting is shocking in the kitchen um but i'm just cooking tea um not sure what time Chris is finishing work tonight, but said that I would do a pasta bake and I'll just make him an individual one and then he can put it in the oven when he gets in. Um, obviously, like I said, being a chef, he is still working as long as he can. Ooh. Pasta's starting to stick. Let's sit down. Um, but first day of self-isolation is done i have not done a great deal um but i have cleaned bathroom anti back well not anti back but like disinfected all like light switches plug sockets that we use like daily all of the time door handles and just like general cleaning um I've been out the house once and that was to take Chris to work in the car and then come back in the car. So I've not seen anyone today. Um, but it is Mother's Day, so I did FaceTime my sister and my mum. We had a nice little chat, which was really nice. Um and I think a lot of people are struggling with that, with the fact that it is Mother's Day and people are so used to doing something nice for their mums on Mother's Day, but obviously the advice is don't <laughs> at the minute um but yeah so i hope you're all doing all right um i didn't even realize i hadn't checked in today so i thought i'd just check in um and i think what i'm gonna do is probably do like a weekly vlog um just while i'm off work um <laughs> so you can see what i'm getting up to but tomorrow my plan is to organize the kitchen because as i said I want to organise some of the um, cupboards and things like that that literally just put stuff in when we moved in. Um, now I'm realising that it's kind of not practical where it is. Not that it's not usable, but it's just I want it in different places. So I think tomorrow I'm going to do that. Um, Tuesday, depends on the weather. I'm either going to sort out my dressing room or wash the car like inside out like fully disinfect <laughs> my car um like i said depends on the weather and then whichever one i don't get around to doing i will do on sunday um oh chris is finishing at 10 that's nice um normal time for him um and then 
Um, oh, put the, pre the oven on to preheat actually, because finishing at 10. Um, and then Thursday, I actually need some new brakes fitting. I have already got them. Um, and my dad said that if the weather's okay, and obviously if we're not in lockdown or anything like that, that I can go to theirs um, to, and he will do them for me. So I'm hoping that they get done because my MOD is actually due next month. Um, and obviously there's a couple of bits that need doing on the cab <laughs> that can happen, but we will see if it gets done. Hey, how you all doing? So it's now Tuesday the 24th. Um, I'm looking at the calendar, but I haven't even turned the calendar over, so that was no help. But yeah, it's the 24th of March today. Um, didn't film anything yesterday for no no real reason really, um, we went food shopping, I stayed in the car while Chris went into the shops and did the food shopping, um, and then we came home, I <laughs> pulled out everything in the kitchen, cleaned every single appliance inside out, everything, um, all of the kitchen doors, handles, um, yeah, the lot really. Um, normally I'll do like it in two stages because you've seen I've got quite a big kitchen so normally I'll do like the worktops and the doors and handles um, and like the sink and then the next day I'll do the if the worktops have got a little bit mucky I'll just give them a quick wipe and the appliances and then the sink again but I did everything yesterday um, it was nice distraction because um, I think we all know it was coming but obviously I won't dwell on it too much but if you obviously are in the UK you will have seen last night's news announcement I mean this is probably going to be a few days old by the time you see this but for me it was last night um, me and Chris watched it live um, obviously on the news we expected it to be five o'clock but when they said there was a Cobra meeting, we kind of knew what was coming. Um, one minute. Oh. <laughs> and just had to put Je uh, Luna in the box to eat her bre breakfast because Jess kept nicking it. But there she goes. Um, but obviously, as of today the whole country um is in people are calling it like a soft lockdown because um <coughs> like you don't need paperwork and things like that and there is still a few places open sorry she always goes nutty when she's just had a breakfast but we are in lockdown um i mean i think we all knew it was coming but it's for three weeks um, if you don't know the sort of key facts of it, it's three weeks starting from today. Luna! Luna's in lockdown because she keeps eating my daffodils. Um, honestly, <laughs> they look a bit worse for wear. <laughs> I've got to only pay a pound for them. Some of them are alright, but anyway, lockdown for three weeks. Um, essential stores such as food and pharmacies, petrol stations, and anything that is open, like pet shops as well, anything that is open for our health and well-being um, is allowed to stay open. Um, so obviously there is still a variety there, but like there's no hair salons, beauty salons, um, electronic stores, clothing stores none of those are allowed to stay open and a lot of um i mean the world went mad well the uk went mad yesterday because mcdonald's closed for the foreseeable future and honestly i went past all three that are in our town yesterday and the queues were ridiculous um one was queued onto the main motorway like the main motorway towards the um no the main roundabout towards the motorway ridiculous um <laughs> but um we um 
yeah, uh, staying at home. Um, Chris is still working because he's still, obviously, they, he's a chef. They still offer food delivery service. So they are allowed to stay open. Um, but I am now... I now have sort of a set timeline. I know that I'm not going to be at work for the next three weeks, which is really, really strange. I think the only time that I've ever had three weeks off work um, was when I broke my toes. Um, and that was about 10 years ago. So it's going to be very strange. Um, I said to Chris, I think I need to start myself like a routine. So like this morning I've actually got up. Well, this morning I was supposed to be taking Luna to the vet. But... Um, obviously that has been cancelled. It was just a routine, um, booster injection appointment. Well, it was a first injections, but it's been cancelled. But I have still got to go to the vets later on to pick up Jess's flea drops. Um, they said that they'll bring them out to the car to me. So obviously we can still do that. Pets still need looking after as much as we do. Please don't forget about your pets. Um... <laughs> not that I can forget about that one um but yeah um like I said I think I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna do myself like a little planner like routine <laughs> because otherwise oh my god it could quite easily like get quite samey and boring um so I think what I'm gonna do like this morning I've just woke up I've got my your mug with a nice latte in it this was from disneyland paris actually the last time i went um yep yeah, still not going there with that got myself a pint of juice to make sure i stay hydrated as well and i think see this is the thing i need my cat like my car needs washing and cleaning all on the inside i don't know if i'm allowed to go outside and do that Surely I am because I'm by myself and I'm only on my front. I'm not going anywhere. But I don't actually know. Um, but Thursday I was supposed to be going to my dad's. My dad is an engineer and he was going to sort out my car. The brakes needed changing and stuff. But obviously that's not happening now. Um, my MOT is due next month. I've already got all the parts because like I said my dad was going to do it. But now I think I'm going to have to pay to put it into a garage because... <laughs> Um, garages at the minute are allowed to stay open but my obviously my dad's not allowed to do it because I'm not allowed to go around to their house so I either go and sit outside for a few hours while my dad does all of the work um, go for a walk around the park like 20 odd times or um, I'm going to have to get into a garage so I'm going to gonna see obviously what's what's what in a couple of weeks um it's not actually due until the end of next month not that i want to leave it too close um but yeah sorry i've waffled on um hope you're all doing well here's some kittens to oh they're not even that old she's there there's some cats <laughs> I'm so it's quite a few, I don't actually know what time it is, it's quite a few hours later, it's actually 20 to 4, wow this afternoon's flown by, um, but I have done all of my dressing room, hi, um, it's all nice and clean, fresh, the only thing I've got left to do is hoover, um, I've done our bedroom, um, the bed in, I think I'm going to wash like tomorrow or the day after, um, because I've got some washing to put on. This <laughs> looks really excessive, but it's a little bit of washing, and it's like all the bins from up here in the recycling. And it's just easier to carry it down as one. Freshened up the bathroom. Did do that, give that deep clean yesterday. Wiped all the handles and everything down up here. Um, so yeah, nice productive afternoon, and it's made day one go pretty quick. Good morning. Um, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm losing track of days already. Um, I've had a little bit of a lazy morning actually this morning. I've been awake since about half nine, but didn't get out of bed until like half ten. Just laid there, like listening to 
I've actually had a bird singing and things like that. Um, but I'm up now. It is ten past eleven. I've well got straight up, went to the bathroom, did a little face scrub, um, like moisturised, cleaned my teeth, everything like that. Um, brushed my hair. I haven't got dressed yet. I'm still in my pajamas, but. I just find that it makes me more motivated whereas if I came down um, without like cleaning my teeth and things like that or put doing my skincare um, then I think that it's like a lazy Sunday morning so I've got in the habit of getting up, wash, clean, clean my teeth, um, brush my hair, do my skincare um, and then when you come downstairs you kind of don't want to sit there because you're already in the mindset that you're ready for the day. Um, so, so far all I've done is I've fed the cats. Um, I've just wiped down and shined the sink. Well, I say shined it, I only used, I only cleaned it. Um, there's a couple of pots, but there's only like three or four glasses. So um, I'm not gonna clean them yet. I've just got my Zaflora out. I'm gonna wipe, wipe around all of the kitchen um just spray it down quick um i need to hoover um change the cat litter trays which is fun um yesterday i did two loads of washing got it washed dried folded um it's just still in the basket so i need to put that away today um i'm sort of setting myself like a little to-do list in my head i want to wash my makeup brushes to either today or tomorrow as well because best time to do it i'm not using them um, it's Chris's first day at work today since the lockdown and um, I'll be taking him because he doesn't drive at the minute um, and obviously he doesn't really want to use public transport or taxis or anything like that so I'm taking him. I've also got to pick um, some flea drops and worming stuff up from the vets for Jess. Um, Luna still <laughs> obviously hasn't been so we don't know a weight or anything. I'm going to try and weigh her at home so that I can at least get her flea drops. She's had her worming tablets but not a flea drop yet. She still wasn't quite the weight. Um, but I'm going to wipe everything down and while I do that I'm going to boil the kettle to have a coffee, make myself a pint of juice. Because like I said I'm trying to make sure I stay hydrated so when I make myself a hot drink I make myself a cold drink as well. Um, so yeah, um, that's the plan for this morning anyway. I'll give it a good wipe down. Um, I think I might have a bath later. But it's actually really nice that I've opened the windows. It's really sunny. It's really like it's really warm in the kitchen today. Um, I don't know if I want a bath when it's that warm. But yeah, I'm going to get on with wiping everything down. Um... And I'll let you know what I'm getting up to. So I've had a pretty productive day. Finally got dressed. Um, I've hoovered, changed the cat litter. I've cleaned inside and out of the fridge. Looks nice and clean again. Um, I think the last time I took like, I did a proper clean where like take everything out um, was just after Christmas. So it was different desperately in need um i'm gonna make shepherd's pie for tea tonight um what else have we done oh i've been doing some coloring because it's important obviously at the minute while everyone's stuck inside to take time for yourself which most people um would do by going to the gym going for a swim something like that but obviously we're not able to at the minute. It smells so nice in here. I use the 1001 carpet mousse. Look at those carpet lines. Hoover lines. I'm so happy. Um, but obviously a lot of people at the minute aren't able to do the things that they would normally do to like relax, chill out. So I have been using my activity journal, my Mrs. Hinch one. Um, and I did, oh well, I've nearly finished, um, the photo of Henry, uh, the colouring bit of Henry when he was a puppy, um, but yeah, so I just took like an hour or so out for myself this afternoon, 
Chris was playing Call of Duty, um, I decided to sit and call her um, because you, you've got to admit, I know it sounds silly, but I know like today I should technically be at work. It should be what well, should have been my second day back at work of the week, but at the minute we haven't got that. So I'm taking time for me um, because obviously when I go back to work, it's going to be hectic. Um, but yeah, so I'm taking time for myself. Um, I spoke to my mum and dad, FaceTime them, I FaceTimed my sister as well. Um, my dad was winding me up because apparently today is International Waffle Day. And he said that's what I do best. So <laughs> he said he had his half an hour of waffles. I keep umming and ahhing about Disney Plus. I love Disney. Um, I love Disney films everything um and obviously disney now owns marvel as well but chris keeps saying to me i've probably got near enough all of the dvds um i've probably seen all of the films that are on there as well as the majority of the tv programs but my um sort of reasoning is that they have other stuff on there as well <laughs> Um, and Chris is like, you're determined to get this. So I'm going to sit and watch Brogan Tate's um, new video about her review of Disney Plus. It came out yesterday and I'm going to see like, if it's worth it because O2, um, who I'm with network wise, are doing an offer at the minute where they do £2 off if you buy it combined with them. So they add it to your phone bill and then they take £2 off. So instead of it being five ninety nine, it's technically three ninety nine. Obviously, on top of your phone bill. So I think I'm probably going to be getting Disney Plus, and I think my sister's got it, so I might talk to her um to see what she thinks of it. But yeah, probably not going to talk to you again today. Tomorrow, my plan is to clean my makeup brushes and clean the car. So they're two of the things that I've said that I'm going to do all week and it's Wednesday and I haven't done them. So clean the car, clean the makeup brushes and just like dust, normal, wipe down, everything. Um, and then probably watch Disney. So is anyone else finding it hard to get motivated? It's now Thursday morning. Um, it's actually like 20 to 11. I've been out of bed about half an hour, um, really didn't sleep well last night, I hurt my back, um, I've got quite a bad backache this morning, and I'm just finding it hard to get motivated, Ooh, that's my coffee ready, um, but I have like got up, as I said yesterday, washed, brushed my hair, it's going to get washed later, got dressed, cleaned my teeth, um opened all the curtains actually put like put clothes on instead of pajamas to see if that helps motivate me a little but i'm struggling today um do you know everyone has these days but i don't know if it's because like i don't have to get up so i'm wondering if tomorrow morning i should set myself an alarm um let me grab my coffee pot yeah, so I don't know if I should set myself an alarm tomorrow, if that will help me like, get motivated, get up out of bed. Or will I just switch it off because I think, I don't have to get up. <laughs> Which I do normally, never mind, I don't have to be up. Um, So I did Cave last night and I downloaded Disney Plus. It's on a seven day free trial um, at the minute. Uh, I have until the 1st of April to make my mind up. Sorry, I know this angle is shocking. Let's try if we put you on the cupboard if that's any better. are in the way. 
Not really. You can only see the top of my head. <laughs> oh, now I've also focused it. See, it's one of those mornings today. Um, by the way, this, uh, this whole vlog has been filmed on my phone, not my camera. Let me know what you think of the quality of it. Um, but as I said, today I'm just struggling to get motivated. Um, that basket of like clean washing is still there. That still needs putting away. Um, it will get put away today. I'm not that lazy. <laughs> Should have been doing yesterday, but no, it will get done today. Um, might I want to wash the cat? And it's a lovely day out there. Like the sun is shining. It's coffee time. But I don't know. I just find it hard to get motivated. Don't worry, we're all like it. So everyone, it's half past eight. Um, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I've just been crying my eyes out. Um, it was clap for the carers at eight o'clock tonight. Um, and the amount of people that were outside, like shouting, clapping, just making noise. <laughs> um, I've got friends that work in the NHS that work on the front line, which I know a lot of people have. Um, and it's just nice to let them know that with we think of them. <laughs> oh my god! Um, but on another note, I finally got motivated today. Um, I cleaned the car. This afternoon had actually had an hour and a half outside, but I was just on my front. Um, I, as you can tell, washed my hair. Um, yeah, showered. I've just, well, literally just showered and washed my hair. And I am making um, some bread buns because we've got loaves of bread, but we've got no buns. And I really fancy burgers for tea. I'm going to make some burgers. And obviously, I need bread buns. Ignore, I don't know what's going on with the face at the minute. But I'm trying out a new recipe. Um, this is the book it's out of. I've had this book for absolute, that was a shocking way of showing it. Had this book for ages. Um, Cook and Enjoy Baking um, by Love Food. Um, like I say, I've had it ages. It's got so many different recipes in it sweet, savoury everything um and i'm just doing i'm gonna try and show you this loaf here which is crusty white just standard um i've made the i made the dough it proved for an hour and while it proved i showered washed my hair did the clap outside um then as i came in alexa was going off for my timer I've just shaped them, shaped the buns for now. The only thing is, I'm really hoping they're going to rise and not just spread. Um, but the rise does normally mainly happen in um, the oven. But I've never made bread rolls before. I've made bread, as in a loaf of bread, but never actually bread buns. Um, so they have got. 20 minutes left on their final prove the oven's on preheating they're going to go in the oven and cook or bake um i'm just gonna clean down this side it does say 30 minutes but i'm going to keep an eye on them obviously because they are smaller than a standard bread roll uh, bread loaf um i'm going to tidy up didn't get around to doing the washing, but I'm here tomorrow, so I can do that tomorrow. Because, let's face it, I'm not going nowhere. I've got pots to put away. Chris did those earlier. Um, Chris is going to be home in about an hour and a half to two hours. So I've got plenty of time to get the bread rolls done. They will just be, like, perfect temperature for um, eating. 
with our bums when he gets home. Um, I've got the burgers to make, and then I think we're just gonna have like potato wedges or something with them. We've got those in the freezer. Um, but yeah, so to say this morning, I was not motivated in the slightest. I actually feel like I've done something today. Um, so tomorrow, um, I'm probably gonna get up, normal, get dressed, clean my teeth, start the day as you mean to go on. I may actually even set an alarm tomorrow because the last two mornings I've got up a bit late and just felt new when I've got up. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that when I go to bed, set an alarm. And I just wanna dust and like generally wipe around everything tomorrow. Um, and I wanna clean my makeup brushes but I'm not in a massive rush to do them because I'm not using them daily at the minute. Well, I've not worn makeup since I went to work on Saturday, so I'm not having to put makeup on um, every day so they can be done at any point. But um, I've been watching a couple of things on Disney Plus. Now I'm gonna do a review video. I'm actually probably gonna film it tomorrow because I wanna get it up because I'm very aware of the fact that I've had no normal um, content go up lately. Um, that's just because I've not really had any enthusiasm to film and I don't want to put videos up when people, like, if I'm not bothered, everyone else is going to see that. But Disney Plus is good. But I do have a couple of drawbacks and like I say, I'll go into full detail. I am planning on filming a video tomorrow, um, but I have been watching a few bits. So I will have a few episode like program reviews and things like that to do. But at the minute I'm on the seven day free trial. So we see, we will see as I go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually end this video here because it is now... Thursday evening, I've pretty much filmed a week, just me chatting, um, but I think that's pretty much all you can do in these times. Um, so if you do like these little chatty vlogs to take up a little portion of your um, self-isolation days, then do give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, head over to my Instagram because I've been chatting quite a bit on my stories as well at the minute. Not so much like actually posting. I've been doing a couple of things, but um, yeah, head over there and come say hi and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.